Okay, Ted, we're gonna go ahead, it's gonna be a little cold. I know you kinda know the drill now, but I just wanna make sure, reminder. And I want you to tell me, from your last pain treatment, how you're feeling. So we were dealing with numbness, and we were dealing with tingling. Correct. And where are we at today? It's referred to as uh, peripheral neuropathy. And there's symptoms that diabetics feel, but I'm not a diabetic. The hot soles of my feet, back to normal. I don't feel any of that. The tingling has subsided somewhat, but I still need to take the Lyrico in order to keep on top of it so it doesn't just blow through. Okay. All right, so um, and it's completely gone? The heat? The, the burning? Yes. Perfect. And that's just in two treatments. Two treatments. Cooler temperature, then we're going to do some sessions of heat and cool, heat and cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. If there's an area that you want me to kind of focus on, let right, me know that. Right now. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to kind of get this down to where we need it. And then I will come up here just a little bit to help kind of release some of that. But, you know, this is kind of a primary focus, but if there's something that you just know that bothers you, we'll talk about that too. Where your left hand is pressed up against my toes and where your right hand is working that instrument is where the numbness in my feet are. Okay. So, I know we kind of talked about this before, but since you don't, you're not a diabetic, but it is no. a similar problem that diabetics do have. Do they, they meaning your medical doctors have a like a reason that you're having these problems? No. Um, some think that it's related to my spinal injury, but it's a, really a crapshoot as to what it is and what can be done medically to resolve the issue. Um, and how long have you had those injuries? Nineteen ninety. No, 89. So many, many years. And this is the first time you're getting relief? Yes, actually. So right now you're in the cold cycle. And I'm sure you probably remember we're going to do a couple minutes of cold, really mm -hmm. cold temperatures. Right. And then we warm it for a couple minutes. And we go back and forth, warm, cold, warm, cold. And the reason we do that is, you know, some of the neuropathy, you know, we don't know exactly, your doctors don't know exactly what's causing it, but a lot of times inflammation in the body can cause these types of pain. It's a 15 minute procedure, and what, what it does is it, you know, it shocks, it does a, a warming and a cooling, and it, that shock of that temperature change will help decrease that inflammation. And you've got some tightness in here too, so sometimes that helps you know, release that kind of tension. So, like, a lot of people will do it on their neck or their shoulders or their back or, you know, wherever they have a pain. I was talking to somebody earlier today who said, well, um, I have a bulged disc. Will this help that? And I'm like, well, it's a bulged disc. I mean, it's not going to maybe necessarily fix the problem, but the pain that she has radiating is more than likely from inflammation from right. that injury. So your quad, your whole quad? Yeah. And then it pulled, like, where's... Then the numbness increases, I mean, the swelling increases the numbness and then it won't support my next step. Okay. So it kind of pushes out this way. Yeah, it probably isn't comfortable either. Sorry. All right. So I am going to get up into this... Is that uncomfortable? Nope. I am going to get up into your quad muscle just a little bit because if that's what's kind of pulling down. If you're uncomfortable, you need to let me know. So, is it pain or is it just oh. that it, I mean on a regular basis, oh, yeah. pain or it just gives out? One precedes the other, so it's the pain first and then it buckles. So the pain starts when the inflammation starts. 
and then it just gets worse. Correct. And then your knee will just give up. And, and you can feel it coming down your... The movement of walking rotates your hips, and that's where I'm fused, and that's where the remainder of the pain is in the very low vertebra of the spine and the, um, what's that, bone mass that's in your tailbone? You know what I'm talking about? The sacroiliac yes. joint? There you go. Are you fused at L4, L5? Yes. Okay. L3, L4. Oh, okay. Just so you can feel any of your inflammation. Does it feel more cold on your knee? Where you can actually feel? No, it's just cold and then it becomes not, it's not cold. Yeah, you get used to it. Because it's only two minutes at a pop, right? Yeah. I mean, there's no pain associated with it, it's just the sensation of it being different. I think the most painful part of a pain treatment like this is that initial cold of the, the gel, it's like, ugh. You know, when you're used to dealing with chronic pain, your, your tolerance level is really high. And it almost becomes a, like it defers the thought to something different, you know. I don't know this, but to just act like you know everything and then the cause problems. Is the uh, manager of the men's house also ran by a construction crew, uh, a very high-end construction crew for a very expensive home. And I joked with him last week, I said, now I've been watching main cabin builders and... All right, we are doing a pain treatment today. We have our lovely model here, who's been so gracious to allow us to show his pain treatment. Um, we've already done the other side, so you'll notice it is a little red just from the cold. And basically what we're doing is we're alternating cold to heat, cold to heat, cold to heat, and ending with cold. And what that's doing, it's really relieving the inflammation that's causing some of the pain. So is it painful to have the treatment right now? No, it actually feels really good. Okay. And have you noticed, um, this is third treatment? Yep. Third treatment. What would you say as far as a percent from zero to a hundred, how better your, because it's mobility, correct? Yeah. So I'd say like 60%. 60% better. How long have you had this pain going on? Probably last two years, two, two and a half years. Two to two and a half years. And so he's been living with, um, a, is it a shoulder industry or inju injury, or do, do you not really know what happened? Uh, it's probably just arthritis and, uh, you know, normal wear and tear on the joints, and then aching and soreness that I experience. Would you recommend that if somebody is experiencing pain that they take the leap of faith and come in for a treatment? Absolutely. Yep. I would say so, too. So there you have it, straight from, straight from the client's mouth that uh, it's definitely worth uh, the time to come in. It's about a half hour treatment. And <clears throat> most of the time, you felt good right when you, pretty much when you left, you could feel a difference, right? Correct, right, right away. And then over time, you were coming, you're coming in about twice a week. So he came in four or five days later, came in again, a couple days later now came in again. So. Um, I would recommend that if you are experiencing some chronic pain or even acute pain, I would look at maybe three to five treatments and you might actually uh, not have any more pain. And it works great in conjunction with chiropractic, acupuncture, uh, maybe some laser treatments you might be having. So it's a, it's a great um, kind of add-on or even just a solo treatment. So again, we're just gonna alternate between cold and heat in the areas that are a problem, and it's about a 28 minute treatment overall. All right. Do another cold again.